Well, Gaffer, what a sublime turnaround that was. How do you reflect on that? Um, I thought we did a better side. Uh, I thought we showed a lot of characteristics that people have probably been used to. Um, and um, to win it in that manner is always a, a nice way. And it was also, I thought it was also a nice in terms of Wilco scoring the goal. I thought that was um, well deserving of his performance because he was huge again. You know, and that's the 16th back four we've played now in the 14 games, and um, I thought they were excellent. I thought they were very good today, and they had to stand up. And that's our way of apologising, really, isn't it? You know, in that sort of sense. So um, another winner at the end was a was a nice moment. I just, I just wish the fans were here because that place would have been this place would have been rocking. I mean, it would have been it would have been shaking at the end. So it would have been a nice it would have been a nice moment for us all to share. Going into those last 10 minutes, what was your thought process? Get as many attacking players on the pitch as possible. I think Terry said to me, it's the most attacking <laughs> diamond we've ever seen. Uh, it was a young team that finished the game. Um, but I thought they did well, you know, I thought Nurfield was a threat all game, a, a real threat. Um, Sanu, but all the subs when they come on had a really big effect on it. And that was positive, you know, I thought they were, we played really well today. There were some moments, obviously the goal's not a great goal to concede when you when the ball moves from one goal line to another goal line, there's obviously a lot of error in that. But, you know, it was a, it was a good performance and a very spirited one. And, you know, again, with Charlie going off and all of those setbacks that you take, the players showed immense heart and character. And, you know, it's nice for the new players who have come into the squad to, to, to actually showcase our character in that dressing room. They were brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So that's one of my that's one of my favourite wins I think in my career. A word on Josh Newfield scored his first career goal today. How good a moment was that for him? Yeah, it'd have been a nice moment for him, I'm sure. But it was a threat, wasn't he? Because I wouldn't say he's a natural centre forward, but um, he has natural um, uh, natural raw pace. I mean, wow! Imagine if you're a centre half and you're in a race with him. Blimey! Um, so I thought he gave us a threat. I thought he gave us a threat. Dagnall was very unlucky not to start because of um, a little knock in training the day before and Josh went in there in training and I thought, wow, okay, that's something I've not expected. Um, and he did that to, to our back four for two days in a row, Josh. So, you know, the, uh, our players knew when they went down the tunnel today what exactly was in the team. Um, but that would have been a nice moment for him, but again, you know, big moment for the players. Quite rightly so, we all took a bit of a whooping. Um, after last Saturday, uh, and, and again, you know, I know people might think I'm mad, but you know, we've still got a real opportunity this year, real opportunity, and we've got to fight our way out this first bit. But if we can build some momentum and take that into Tuesday, you know, I think we'll be we'll be up and running in a good way. Um, we saw Charlie Lee limp off at the um, halfway point of the half there. What was the update on him, really? Uh, that, that's a that's a bad one. I think I think when you call for the stretcher for Charlie, I think it's um, it's a bad one. And, Probably only his pride that allowed him to come off without it. Um, but, uh, and he's a big player for us. But how big was Lawson Diath when he stepped in there? I mean, Lawson Diath is a, by his career, is a, you know, an inventive inverted winger, and he's now playing in front of the back four in the National League, one of the most destructive leagues in English football. And he looked, he looked six foot five. He didn't play five foot nine. He played six foot five. I thought he was huge, absolutely huge. But. Now, when you reflect on the game, you can only reflect on what goes on around the goals. Adam Smith didn't have a save to make all game. So, um, apart from the goal, obviously, that they, they scored, he, he didn't have a moment in the game where we thought, oh, he's a full stretch. So, I thought that typified our defensive display. I thought it typified our character. Um, and it's nice to have that back-to-back -back win because them kind of things, you know, take you with momentum into the forthcoming games. Uh, talk about this forthcoming games now, Weymouth, two rivals in a row, how do you go into that one? Well, with the same attitude, you know, same attitude, because I think that is our attitude. And it's, um, it's taken a while to kind of ignite it again. But what I liked about it is, especially from Monday, is I like the, the fact that the players I had last year have suddenly stood up after lots and lots of conversation. They've stood up and they've got themselves back in the form. Matt Worthington was immense again. Incredible performance from Matthew, who by his own admission hasn't hit form this year. Lawson, huge again. Skendy, 
huge again, you know. So I, I, I think that's great. And what it does, it kind of it gives us all hope, you know, including our supporters. It gives our chairman, it gives me, it gives the players, the dressing room, it gives us real hope that you know we can still bring this round.